Hello, my name is Gary Shotton, and today I'm going to talk about the word justice. You know, <clears throat> we're uh, humans, and I'm a human, and uh, when I'm wronged or something is uh, unfair to me, I really can reach out and, and uh, think and sometimes act in a way that says, hey, we need to take things into our own hands and get justice out of this situation. And I'm telling you, if you create a mindset like that, where you're always trying to get even, uh, somebody takes advantage of you, somebody uh, didn't pay you, or somebody uh, ripped you off in a, in a way uh, in business that I'm going to get even with that person. You're going to set a mindset that's not good. You're going to set a mindset that, that, that will affect you. So many things have happened. Uh, I had a situation where uh, I was very tight on money. I was uh, uh, almost uh, barely making my payroll and barely paying my bills. And then I get um, a problem with the air conditioner in our office. Oh my goodness, I don't have time for that. And uh, I uh, uh, called who I thought would be a good heating air conditioning person. I was a professing Christian, and I think they're probably good people. And they came out, and sure enough, they said, you need a new air conditioner unit. $10,000. Oh, there's no way I have money for $10,000. And I get into it and I reluctantly tell them, ah, this is, this is, this is, I, I guess I'll go ahead and I have to do it because we, it's hot in the summer. We can't just sweat inside the office. I have to have a climate that we can work in with seven or eight of us working in the office. And in the process, though, I discovered that, that he, air conditioning, it was an issue of air conditioning, wasn't really wrong. Now maybe the supplier was trying to give me something more efficient, but they didn't explain it that way. They said my air conditioner was broke, that it would not work. But it wasn't true. All that was wrong was uh, when air conditioners in the middle of summer when it's humidity, they uh, con have condensation and that condensation needs to be caught in a pan at the bottom and the pan at the bottom needs to be drained into a drain. And I discovered that the only thing that was wrong was that pan in the bottom had some holes in it and it wasn't draining. It was running out on the floor in the warehouse, but it wasn't guided down into the proper drainage. I could fix this for 15 or $20. Oh my goodness, I was I was not happy. I was not happy at this individual because I th thought they were going to they were trying to take advantage of me and I thought they were looking at a, a chase that and I was going to get justice with them. I was going to consider reporting them to other people. Hold it. Think about it. If I'm the one that's going to get revenge on this person and make it difficult for them, uh, that can happen all the time in business. Another one was, uh, um, you might hear this in several of my uh, reports because they fit, but uh, I had my wife and I and another couple were the prime, uh, uh, the management of, of my company, the moving and storage company. And at one point, uh, I turned more of this company over to this other individual and his wife was the key person helping there. And my wife and I, we weren't like doing something else. I was interested in mini storages and I was developing a, a new line of business while he took care of what we had there in the moving business. And all of a sudden, uh, I'm um, out having a little fun on a Saturday afternoon and I get a call from a friend that notified me that maybe this person that was working for me uh, was doing something quite inappropriate. And what I found out on Monday that on Saturday or Friday afternoon he took checks out of order in my check uh, stack and he had privileges to write checks in our behalf and went to the bank and cashed $17,000 worth of cash, money out of my checking account, put it in his pocket and then paid my workers and used my trucks to move him to the next state over the state that was no, to the north of us. Well, this really complicates it because there's no way for me physically to go after this person and very costly and I had given them privileges and they had only, they hadn't in a technical turn, hadn't actually stolen from me. They had had a misuse of the privileges I had given them and they're in another state. Oh, I wanted to wring his neck. And it took me probably six weeks before I finally swallowed and said, this is just eating me up. 
I'm not going to live this way. I'm going to just go ahead and forget about it. You see, I didn't ever reunite with any of these situations and continue my uh, uh, business relationship with them, but I didn't hold it against them in a way that, that I'm the one that's going to get the justice. You see, I learned that if I let it go, that in due time, these people that are acting inappropriate against me and others, they kind of like have a dangling rope. And we have a saying that if you let the rope dangle for a while and long enough, it'll finally catch them and, and, and cause them great destruction. Not I didn't cause that destruction, and I don't even think God causes, causes the destruction. I actually be, believe that the wages of sin is death and destruction. So the payback, not, not God, not me, but if we turn things over to, to the, to, to, and not hold them against us, and again, I don't say we turn it over to God and ask God to zap them like you would a fly swatter on a, on, a, on a fly, but I'm saying that in somehow the system says it will take care of itself. There's somebody else in the process of time that I do not have to uh, tie myself up in trying to gain justice. Here's the problem. When I work hard at getting justice, I take away the energies, the drive, the, 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 the uh, advancement of, of my company and my, my business. I tie my mind up and I miss the opportunities. Now, each time something happened, of course, I learned the lesson and I put in place some systems and processes so that it wouldn't get hit over and over and over again. I mean, we had claims uh, in our business and I continually modified my, my uh, agreement as things happened to improve. So if something happened, I learned a lesson, but then I changed something in the contract with the customer so that, that if that came up again, I was standing on more legal ground. Honestly, in moving some 33,000 people, I had several times that I could have taken somebody to small claims court. And the, I could have worked through that process. It all depends on the amount of money involved, but I actually never took anybody to small claims court. I'm not proud of uh, that necessarily. I'm just saying it, it would have tied me up time and energy that took me away from doing what I needed to do to have a successful company. And I don't know what happened to all those people. And to be honest with you, I really wish them the best. I wish that they would repent and change their ways and avert problems. But if you keep playing too close, we say if you get too close to the creek, you're always playing right on the edge, you're going to fall and slip into the water. Well, if you keep doing those things, they're going to come back and get you. It's just a matter of time. And I don't have to be the one that serves out the justice. Well, I hope this makes sense. I hope it didn't uh, uh, disclose something that was uh, irritating to you. And I just believe that God is a God of justice. Let's just say that justice is going to play its way out uh, just in this world when uh, we allow God and his system and wisdom to defend us. That's the main thing. Thanks for being a part of Inspiring Better Business.